Hello and welcome to Around the Air Force. Air Force officials held a press brief at the Pentagon Thursday to give updates on the ongoing investigation for 34 officers accused of cheating on a proficiency test. Staff Sergeant Brad Sisson reports. Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James and the Air Force Global Strike Command Commander Lieutenant General Stephen Wilson invited the media to attend a press briefing at the Pentagon on January 30th. They provided an update on the Secretary's recent trip to Global Strike Command bases and Air Force investigations into the allegations of compromised test materials. We can now report there is a total of 92 crew members that have been identified as having some level of involvement. She also provided the corrective action of those involved. In an abundance of caution, as we follow these new leads, we have temporarily decertified these 92 crew members and they are not any longer on alert at this time. In response to the test compromise, Secretary James toured and spoke with airmen across the Global Strike Command. Now from all of those discussions and that tour of last week, um, I have come up with a list of what I call my seven observations. Secretary James's seven observations, along with her plan to fix the issues uncovered during the investigation, will be addressed within the next two months. General Wilson added the success of the nuclear mission hasn't changed. What the ongoing OSI investigation has shown is that we have experienced a failure of some of our officers and their integrity, but again, not a failure in the nuclear mission. The Air Force did reevaluate its nuclear teams on the compromised test and produced a 95.5 percent pass rate, which demonstrated the proficiency at their job. Reporting from the Air Force Broadcasting Service, I'm Staff Sergeant Brad Sisson. From the Air Force Broadcasting Service, I'm Staff Sergeant Alina Richard.